Hello everybody, I'm Equinox67, welcome to Mad Games Tycoon. Now this game I just saw recently on Steam, it's a lot like Game Dev Tycoon, but it is, it's different developers. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show it off. Um, it basically, it, it is basically the same game, but it seems to have a lot more sort of customization and things. Um, and you can kind of build your own offices as well, which I think is really cool. Um, so I'm gonna just jump straight into it. I've, I have played a little bit already, um, just to do the uh, tutorial. Because uh, the, the thing with these games is that they're so like complex, that you kind of have to do like the tutorials just to get to know, get to grips with what you're doing and everything. Um, so, play a name. Let's go with Equinox. There we go. Okay, company name. Random company, let's go with this. Rafa Games. Red Bite System, Snarly Games, Blue Heart Games, Blue Heart Games, very good, very good. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Blue Heart Games actually. <laughs> um, that is a reference to Game Dev Tycoon. For those of you who don't know, because um, Game Dev Tycoon was developed by Green Heart Games, so <laughs> we're gonna go with Blue Heart Games. <laughs> That's clever. I like that. I love, I love the references you get in these games. It's cool. Um, let's go with the Alien. Complete logo. Yeah. Let's go with the Alien. I actually have an Alien as well on my um, my Twitter handle. I actually have an Alien like that. Little green Alien. That's cool. Country. I'm United Kingdom. All of these have like a sales bonus as well. A 5% sales bonus. I don't really know what that really does. Because they're all exactly the same bonus. So, I don't know. I don't think you can choose which country you sell a game in or anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to disable the tutorial because I've already done the tutorial. So, we're good. Okay. Go. Okay. Character skills. Yeah, you can choose like character skills as well. Um, I have no idea what like I should really be choosing now. Because if you choose something really early on, like 8-bit music, then... <laughs> Like eight bit sound or PC speaker sound. <laughs> but then like later on when you've got like <laughs> thirty-two bit music and surreal three D audio sounds, you're gonna be you're gonna be kind of a bit useless <laughs> with speaker sound. I don't know. Um they need something that's like that will last throughout the entire game, basically. Um mod support. Realistic physics. <laughs> That's kind of end game stuff. Okay, let's do sprites. Represent moving objects on the screen, such as the character or character or the opponents. Yeah, let's go with sprites. There we go. Special genre. Um, simulation. I'm going to choose simulation because I I really like simulator games. Um, I don't. I haven't done that many on my channel. I haven't done many videos on on my channel, um, but I really like simulator games. <laughs> um, and then you've got like all these skills as well. Ah, I don't know. Five skills. Uh, okay. Let's put like. Uh, let's put two in game design. Two. There we go. And then we'll put one in each of these: programming, graphics, music, and sound. There we go. Okay. Game speed, standard, starting in year 1980, and normal. Yeah. I don't want to go too hard. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Mad Games Tycoon. Initially, many functions are disabled, but with time, more and more features are unlocked. Have fun. Okay. Yeah. This is cool, because you got like this, like, this is a huge kind of garage that you get as well. Because um, in um, Game Dev Tycoon, you only have like a garage about this size, with this uh, this little car in it. Only it was a DeLorean, wasn't it? It was a DeLorean in that one, yeah. I remember. This is a cool little car. I like this car. What is that, like a, a Jaguar or something? Uh, no, wait. I was going to say it kind of looks like an old Porsche uh, with the front there. But I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So you can build like um, your own offices. Um, I can't use this computer, by the way, either. It won't, it's not, not going to weigh in there at all. Oh, did I just drop? Oh, I can't. Okay, anyway, um, so you can build like all of these offices and things. 
and toilets as well, apparently. Self-explanatory. There you go. <laughs> um, development. Here is where you develop your games and game engines. Oh, you can develop game engines, okay. As well as do contract work. Okay. So let's do... Um, yeah, let's do 4x4. Four four. So you don't want to use up too much of this um, too early on, because you need it for um, building some of the other stuff, I think, later on. 14,500. Just to build that. Wow. Okay. There's a door. Beautiful. You in there. Okay, we need a desk. You can get all of these cool stuff as well um, for just customization, uh, customizing your um, offices and things, which is really cool. You can get like plants and stuff, pin board, trash cans, water coolers, heating, fans, extinguishers, Honey sound system. Is that Sony? <laughs> By any chance? <laughs> Yeah, you can get loads of like customization. I really love this uh, this customization. It's really cool. I don't I don't, don't want to say sort of be cruel and say something like Game Dev Tycoon should have had this customization in to start with, because um, <laughs> that sounds really cool. But um, yeah, <laughs> it it is a lot of customization that this game has. Like this is insane amounts of customization. Um, Blue Heart Games, yeah. Okay, so let's develop a game updates and language packs. Develop game update. Oh, well, I haven't got any games, obviously. Yeah. Ah, oh, so I can develop updates for games. That's something you can do in Game Dev Tycoon. Okay. Oh yeah, and up, up here, by the way, as well, this, um, I think it's in the tutorial. Up here is, um, like, the trending stuff and the, the not-so-trending stuff. Um, so... Uh, trending at the moment is arcade and helicopters. The genre is arcade, and the topic is helicopters. Is trending at the moment, and puzzle genre and rabbits is not trending. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do I have either of those things? Okay, it's arcade, was it? Okay, arcade. Topic was helicopter. Arcade. Rugby, islands, or theme parks? Theme park. Okay, let's go theme park. Target audience, teenager. Let's go with um, theme parks. <laughs> let's go with uh, theme park. <laughs> That's about as creative as I can get. <laughs> theme Park Simulator. There we go. Because I like simulators. Theme Park Simulator. There we go. That's our first game. Uh, platform. Personal Computer. Cost five thousand dollars to publish it on that. Oh my. Oh, this is where it gets complicated. <laughs> Choosing all of the game settings and things, and how much priority you put in everything. Oh, that's the part. This is the worst part. Because this, I, don't, I have no idea what, what I should do with this. What is it? Arcade? What does an arcade game need? <laughs> Gameplay? But yeah. Gameplay more than graphics. Definitely, right? Game length or story? I'd say kind of a bit more story than game length. Not too much, though. Atmosphere? Yeah. No atmosphere in a, an arcade game, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. Arcade games are more... Are they more beginner friendly? I think they're more beginner friendly. We'll go with that. Um, I may be a core gamer. I have no idea. We'll just kind of... We'll kind of do that. There we go. Priority, again... <laughs> I have no idea. Why do I have to do this? This is basically choosing twice. I, I have no idea. Um, graphics aren't as important I, don't, important, I don't think. We'll put that down quite a bit. Um, sound probably is quite important. Gameplay is probably quite important. Technology... I'm going to say no. Not important. 
so it sounds up a bit more, maybe gameplay up more. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay. These I can't I can't take off, I don't think. No. Okay. Okay. There we go. What's this? One star. Office quality. If you have many stars, many employees are available. It also increases the willingness to work of your employees. Okay. What's this one? Reputation. With a high reputation you get offered more jobs. Furthermore, this increases sales. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I can speed this up as well, by the way. Let's speed it up. Naughty Chicken has released the game Hit the Head. <laughs> Naughty Chicken has released the game Hit the Head. I want to play that game. That sounds cool. <laughs> New research feature. Theme Park Simulator. Yeah! Look at it, it looks cool. I have no idea what that's a picture of. <laughs> the work on this game have... The, the work on this game have been completed. You can release your game now. If you would like to continue working on the game, you can. You can move the release date and bring it to market at a later time. Do you want to publish a game now? Yeah, let's publish a game now. I can't self-produce. I can't produce a game by myself without a publisher. I have to have a publisher. Um, I don't know what the requirements are to self-produce though. But anyway, um, arcade. So these guys have an arcade fan base. Let's do that. Okay. Your first game was completed. You can now build the research area. There you can research new features, genres, and themes. Nice. Graphics look pretty good. That's impressive considering I put the graphics right down. Retro! I got an achievement. Nice. A little polish could go a long way. The sound is really good, only a few oddities now and then. The controls are lousy. They really should have spent more time on this. <laughs> the gameplay is below average. Didn't I put gameplay up? I think I put gameplay up, didn't I? Yeah, I put gameplay up. The graphics down, right? <laughs> um, they need to be much better. The game, This game is a train wreck. It's not even worth a look. Well, screw you! <laughs> I don't even care. Because I'm down twenty thousand dollars, seventeen thousand dollars. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I can develop a patch, update, theme park simulator, bug fix update. What did it say? Gameplay's down. Oh, okay, let's get these up here. Um, and these are quite low. Okay, go. See what that does. I got four. For hype! Nice! I am not making money though. <laughs> I am not making money. Oh god. There we go, we've got a patch update. Done. What does that do? Oh, it made, him, made more, get, more get sold. Let's, let's do another patch. Update. Um, security. Wow, this is really low. Let's go with that. And add more of that again. Okay. Is that good? I'm down a thousand. I made two thousand dollars. Yeah! We're making money. Four thousand dollars. Okay. I'm good. Oh god, that's really gone down in sales. <laughs> Look at, the, look at the drop on that. Oh, Nick went back up again. Nice! New engine available. Oh god, look at this drop on that again. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't even afford $100,000. No. No. Deep Pack Simulator. Sales figures for this game are getting worse, therefore, we're taking this game off the markets. Yeah, but I'm making $8,000. That's cool, okay. Let's develop uh, research. Here is where you discover new topics, genres, features, and technology for your company. It requires at least one staff, but two, three, or even more will help you research faster. Okay, cool. Let's make this the same size. Yeah. $19,000. Why I need to make it. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Yeah. 
door in there. Nice! It's got a cool different different kind of thing. Can I hire staff now? Hire staff. Oh. I can just hire staff. Okay, these guys don't have any um, trending stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, oh, I can't even. PS PS two. There we go. PS two. We're gonna hire you. There we go. I don't need to hire anymore. There we go. We've hired staff. Oh god, he's really fast. I forgot. I sped it up, didn't I? Put you in there. Oh, I need a desk for you, don't I? I need a desk. There you go. Okay. There's a desk. Okay. Can you... Research... Topics. Helicopters. I can use... Oh. Oh. Oh, I like this. This is nice. In, um... I, I know I'm comparing the two quite a lot. But in, um, Game Dev Tycoon, you could only research like so so far down you had like you had like a, a table and all of them were like question marks all the way down um, apart from the, the line above where you were so you could only research certain ones so this is really cool you can choose any topic and just research it straight away that's really cool and there's a lot <laughs> there is a lot oh my god radioactivity racing rabbits quiz show Puzzles, prison, predators. Oh my god. <laughs> what was I looking for? Hot helicopter. Okay. Where's helicopter? Helicopter. There you go. That's trending. You research that. Um, I I am going to do contract work while I'm waiting. Because I don't want to do a I don't want to do another game until I've got that. Let's do that. Yeah. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Programming drivers. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. Get my guys working overtime here. I've got sixty thousand dollars left. Yeesh. I need to make more money. Maybe you can sell my car. Do I need my car? Is that car costing me money? Just sitting there. Maybe. Naughty Chicken is released the game Detective. Triple Fine has released the game something. That's a good point, actually. Um, Triple Fine is another Easter egg to the game developers who made um, Costume Quest that I did a playthrough on on my channel. Um, they they they're actual they're, they're actually called um, Double Fine Double Fine Productions, is it or is it just Double Fine? I think it's just I think it's just Double Fine. Yeah. So yeah, they they made Costume Quest and Costume Quest Two and. What was the other one I was going to do a game on? A, a, a video on? Um, stacked. Was it stacked? Or stacking? I think it was stacking. Yeah. They made those games. Um, so yeah, I, I am pla I'm planning on to um, a game, a, a video on stacking, by the way, as well. Um, I did I did mention that in the Costume Quest playthrough. <laughs> that I, I do plan to do that. Um, but yeah, that, that triple find was a, a, an easter egg to those guys. That's really cool. That's just an indie indie developer as well. They're not even like a big games developer. Like, what's the other one? Oh, mind you, it was Blue Heart Games, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> economic crisis. No new contracts will. No new contract work will appear. Global economic crisis has begun. No new contract work will appear in the near future. Okay. Well, we're, we're not doing that much contract work anyway. So that's cool. Okay. So. Um. Oh, I can't get this guy to do develop a game, can I? Okay, develop a game. Genre. It's arcade. And helicopter. Yeah, there we go. Audience. Adults. Um, arcade helicopter. Um, let's call it copter. Yeah. 
Copter. That's a real game, by the way. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's a real game. Copter. That's a really cool game. I used to play that game in college, all the time. <laughs> I'm just, I, I never, I never did any college work. <laughs> I literally just sat and played games. Oh. So it shows you where it needs to be on here. Ah, that's cool. Only those two though. That's cool. But yeah, I used to play Copter all the time. I, I used to play games all the time <laughs> in college. I never, I never, I never did any college work. <laughs> I was terrible. I'm gonna leave the rest as they were. I think. I think. I think. Maybe we could do that one up there. There we go. I feel like it's more, more to that side. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, gameplay is really up there though. I did really good on that. Maybe we can put sound down a little bit. Put technology up. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. We'll leave it there. Okay. Done. Okay. Let's make some more money. What was that? Oh, is that bugs? Okay. Found some bugs. That's okay. We can we can develop a patch. It's cool. Red Isle Studios. I missed that. <laughs> it pops up too quickly. Like that's that's another thing with these these kind of games as well. The Game Dev Tycoon as well did the same thing. It kind of a lot of the things just kind of pop up a lot of the time, and you don't know what you don't get a chance to read them all. Copter. Worker's game has been completed. Blah blah blah. Okay. Find a publisher. Um, use an arcade game. Oh, right, here we go. Koei. We use those guys last time. Cool. Yeah. You released your second game. You can now buy dev kits to develop games for other platforms. You released your second game. To increase your sales, you should develop games for multiple platforms. Two platform is now available. Nice. Okay. Oh god, this is going to do worse, isn't it? The graphics are below average. The graphics should be improved. The sound is not very good. A lot more effort should have been put into it. The controls are lousy. It's really spent more time on this. The gameplay is below average. They look. They need to be much better. The game is a train wreck. It's not even worth a look. Okay. Well, screw you. <laughs> I think I said that last time. I <laughs> saw. Oh god, that was terrible. I'm going to lose money on that, aren't I? Oh god, I'm going to lose money. Okay. Let's develop an update for it so that we can't lose money. <laughs> um, that's way better than it was before. Um, we need more of these though. And sound. Okay. There we go. What are you doing? What can you research? Can you research um, genre? Nope. <laughs> they are way expensive. Hell no. Oh wait, I know what I need to do. I need to buy dev kit, don't I? Oh, they are expensive. Okay, I'm gonna buy this. This is only five thousand dollars. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we can release it on two consoles now. That's that's something at least. Am I making money yet? No. <laughs> I'm not doing bad. I'm on eight thousand, nine thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. It's going down. It's all good. We're gonna make another patch just to uh, keep the content coming and keep my fans that I have zero of. <laughs> I want to keep them buying the game. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> Let's just do that. There we go. I just selected like everything almost. Uh oh, uh oh. Best soundtrack, Elite Ranger. Best graphics, Clown of Stunts. Studio of the Year, Lockstar Games. Theme Park Simulator, Worst Game of the Year. Minus 2,500 fans. Does that mean I go minus fans? Or do I stay at zero? Oh, God. Minus 2,500 fans. I haven't even got any fans to start with. <laughs> Yeah, I say it's zero fans. Great. <laughs> oh, we're making money. We're making money. Oh, we're making a bit of money. Okay. 
Oh yes, it's still doing that. Oh no. What have I done? Okay. You're still making that wow, that went down a lot. Please make that patch before that. Oh no. Okay, it's gone back up. Okay. More patches. We need more patches. We need to update the game constantly. Keep people interested in the game. Otherwise we are gonna lose money. We're gonna make more money. Yeah, thirteen thousand dollars. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Beautiful. Eighteen thousand. Now this is how you develop a game. Constantly oops. No, I don't want to develop a new game. <laughs> Jump straight into a developing new game. We're good. <laughs> that game's done. Move on. <laughs> now we need to we need to develop updates. We need to keep updating the game. We need to get more content out there. Um and new sounds. That's what we need. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars. This game is good. I like this game. Twenty-three sold. Okay. <laughs> I think this game is done. <laughs> oh man, even thirteen. Okay. We made twenty-two thousand one hundred twenty-three dollars. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I think we did good. I can't remember what we did. Can we see? Hang on, pause it a second. Can I see my past games? Economic crisis. Okay. Um, can I see my past games anywhere? Take out loans. Statistics and balances. My games. My games turnover. Okay. Yeah. We didn't do bad. For our first two games, we made $8,249 and $22,123. So that's not bad. That's that's pretty good for the first first two games I've made. Um, yeah. This is cool. I really like this game. Um, I love how you can develop, like, um, like build your own offices and things like that. I think that's really cool. Can I, like, pick that up? Did I pick that up earlier? Yeah, I did. Ah, so you can move the door around as well. That's cool. So yeah, I, I really like this game. This is really cool. You can build your own offices and things. Um, console development. Five million in cash. Graphics studio. Music studio. Customer support. Oh god, marketing, motion capturing. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. Um, you can also do, obviously do all these server rooms. Oh, I can have your own servers, production. Press, you can produce games. I can actually make the games. Oh my god. Toilets. I think my guys need some toilets, right? Can I just put these in here? No. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is a really cool game. I really like the um, the customization of the game is really cool, and it's got weather effects as well. I don't think Game Dev Tycoon had weather effects, so this is really cool as well. Got weather effects. That's cool. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I really like this game. Ah, oh, oh. you can hide the walls as well. That's cool. What is this? Oh, that's cool. So you can pick up and not pick up game uh, employees and stuff or objects. That's cool. So you could accidentally pick up. So I picked that up earlier, and I I can't pick it up now. That's cool. Oh, this is a really cool game. I really like this game. Um, I'm gonna play a lot more of this hopefully. Um, I probably I don't know if I'll do another video on it. I might just play it in my own time from now on. Um, I just really wanted to show the game off because it's a really cool looking game. Um, and again, I, I really like the game. Game Dev Tycoon game, um, and this looks a lot like it, and it is literally a lot like it. Um, it's almost, almost identical. <laughs> I mean, it's got the same kind of, same kind of first building, um, and it's even got the garage with the the car in it and everything. <laughs> so it's it's kind of the same, <laughs> same thing going on there. Um, so that's really cool. I like that so much. I don't know if there's like any hidden Easter eggs again, like. Um, with like the, there's a few Easter eggs in the in the um, game Dev Tycoon. You could kind of make game titles and stuff, and developer names and stuff, and it would be, it would make you get better views or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna leave this video here. 
Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to go check out the game yourself, I'll leave a link in the description as usual. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. That's all for, that's all for me for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and I will see you all on the next video.